Welcome to my fourth playthrough. I'm going to play this on the, this is on the, I think the 113 branch, which is on beta still. And I'm going to set it to hard. Now for newer players who watch this, um, my favorite fleet selection is usually having um, missiles, a lot of airplanes and some close combat ships. As for close combat, I want to try out my new Honey Badger M version. We got over here. And I'm going to get two of those. Then I would like to get two Wasps. And the Ars Mark II for long range missiles. The first thing I like to perform at the beginning is to go to Earl and get a lot of fuel and bombs. I like bombs more than rockets. Getting only a few of those. Not buying special ammo at this point. I could, but it's probably a waste of my. I'll, I'll get some of them. Get a bit more. Now I'm going to refuel, and the first target I'm going to pick is this place over here. So I can spot the first strike group. And my honey badgers are too slow to, to suppress attacks, so I'm just going to attack directly. They might advance for us. They're gonna. Um, they track the enemy fire. I'm going to use the armor piercing rounds now. They actually made it to a surprise attack because the enemy is on the ground. Yeah, that went good. I had a 17% chance of, of a surprise attack. It actually worked out. Okay, also for emotional attachment, I want to rename my honey badges. <clears throat> Not sure if it saves the name after I repair it. Okay, let's see. There's a strike group and a tactical group. Aircraft carry group over here. Oh, I can't move for 24 hours. My plan would be they haven't, they haven't noticed me yet, so I'm probably going to refuel, go up here, here. When I'm getting in range, I could park myself in here and attack both of those groups with airplanes and take them out. Yeah, they probably told them that we're here.
And we got N. N is probably missile carrier. So the N means that they're also nuclear capable. So some of their missiles are nuclear and some of them are conventional. And they're only going to use nukes if I use them myself. Okay, I have to go in here. I'm within plane range if I get to this point. Why are you not moving? Come on, guys. I don't care much for radio right now. What is the range for the planes? I have to get further. Because I want to strike them before they even react to me. Well, I need to get fuel first. So <clears throat> that's going to be difficult. Again, sending in the flopper and the saga. Yeah, this bottom me now. Yeah, I'm not going to use the armor piercing rounds. I need to get below them quickly because my, my belly is exposed. Yeah, I gotta avoid the wreck coming down on my honey badger. Because I don't want to be that that YouTube high fleet guy who keeps ramming his ships into stuff. It's a really good performance on the ship so far. The 100mm guns can chop through the armor quickly. Okay, now this is going to attract stuff. Attention. Visual contact. Visual what? Who? Oh. Okay, if a missile is coming from here. Wait a minute. Can't be those guys, they don't have the range for it. It's going from here. Okay, so let's take a look what's in Ervo. See how much a honey badger can take missile off a missile rather. So pretty much intact, just the cage was damaged. Yeah, really proud of this design so far. Warning, radar emission detected. Okay, from this position, it is over. Yeah, he's an able strike group. Visual contact. Missile again, yeah. Lost. Oh, that's bad. It probably cut through the ship at, at a critical point because it's a thin ship. I'm just retreating. I just want to see what's here. That's not a strike group, that's a garrison. Not a strike group. That's not a strike group either. Maybe those guys just had missiles in, in their pockets. Yeah, I'm going to send a second plane out. I'm not sure I'm hidden city northwest of here.
Yeah, I'll probably spend a lot of time here anyway, so nah, it's good. Yeah, massive bin missile sent from this one. They don't have any good air defenses, so I can just bomb them like this. I thought about the ground. Yeah, I'm going to retreat now. I'm going to risk the rest of the planes when they shoot back. And they're too unimportant to send cruise missiles at them. Unknown contact. Dom Donbass is probably a strike group that saw me. Oh, they're right on top of me. Yeah, they snuck past over here. Need to land quickly. And they need to send one recon plane out because they must be probably up here. Ah, there he is. Actually, I'm, wait, I'm going to put the missiles on those because they arrive faster. How could they miss all of that? Look, one missile is tumbling away in the... Oh. I think I lost two planes on that. Yeah, I must have lost some equipment. I think those guys, yeah, psh, they still got two planes left. Only 600 damage is not good for 500 kilos of bombs. Didn't hit anything critical, I think. A lot of fuels burning, that's good. Let's check their speed. 90. Yeah, they're still able to repair. I could wait for the honey badger to fight them. Or I could send a cruise missile to, to do some damage to them. That hit right in the center. Hmm. Yeah, he can take him, or I could risk shooting at least one cruise missile at him. Rather risk the missiles than lose my honey badger now. Yeah, it's going to look like a good hit. How is that thing still flying? I think he must have taken three by now. How the hell is that guy still on in the air?
got to reduce the potential of the damage they can do before they reach the other ship. Yeah, I'm just taking, I'm doing surface damage to them. Well, there's no way around it. Okay, here's armor here, here. Yeah, it's time for the armor piercing rounds, there's no way around it. Yeah, most damage went into the cage. That thing was working out well. 